now for something completely different. Now for something completely different. Hello and welcome to another video. Yes, this is a very different one. We're heading to Manchester Piccadilly to meet a couple of reprobate mates for a day of, yes, you've guessed it, street photography in Manchester. Far from the uh, calmness and well-being of the woodland and the hills. And I hope you'll stick with me on this video because we've got some great light. We're gonna get some beautiful long shadows and uh, especially in the city will provide us with lots of interest and it's Saturday. Also to add to that, Manchester are playing Liverpool today. I know, we pick them. I think that could help. We'll give us some exciting and uh, lots of colour movement of people, methinks. Wish us luck. See there. travel later it's been years I mean years since I've been in a city and I used to come to Manchester regular especially being at the University of Salford and uh, I I'd say it's 10 years since I've walked around Manchester so today I'm the light oh come on All right let's get out of here of people walking in front of this statue, the sculpt, this sculpture, very powerful uh, statues indeed. And the movement of people coming in the same direction works really well. Not sure, but the light today, look at this light. Tremendous light, really good, here you go. That kind of thing, people walking in front. We're still waiting on the reprobates yet. It's getting busy, which is great. I love being early, just having a walk round and getting, getting used to the place, you know, and what the day's gonna be and just envisage a little bit. This light here at Piccadilly coming through the glass is wonderful. I've got a couple of shots looking through the doorway, people walking through. A bit of a warm up if you like, just getting used to the surroundings and being amongst people, especially while vlogging. Gonna get some right funny looks today, I tell you. Right, I'm gonna put you down, have a mooch, and come back when they've got off the train. So there. Great. We've got one reprobate, he's shown up. We're just waiting for the other now. How do? It's going to be fun, I tell you what. It's chocker, so we'll see what happens, what pictures, what people we meet, because I'm hoping I can do some portraits today. A couple of portrait shots and a mixture of street and architecture. What do you think, Burnsy? No mountains around here, is there? No, no, no sheep. Well, there's a few sheep. Is that it, Canton, are there? Eric here. You know, Eric Cantona. Didn't think I'd see him today. <laughs> Class. Right, I'll stop being a silly bugger and uh, we'll meet you on the Wanda because it's chocker here. And you know, my kahunas are big, but they're not that big. I, I wanna, I'm looking at Greg's. It's a distraction. It really is. 
Well, Mikey's rocked up and we've gone off like three, three ferrets down hell. Honestly, he, he's on it. He's proper on it. And it's energised us all now. And we're walking through some beautiful light. And uh, Mikey's shooting at 50 mil. I'm at 28 and I think James is at 35. But he's, he's vanished. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, don't know where James has gone. Any roads? I'm sure he'll turn up. I think he might be around this corner. He's, uh, is he, is he, oh, is he behind us? We've lost him already. Let's go and have a look. Any road, I'll just talk you through. We've both gone off like three ferrets down hell. I'm going to get run off. And we're heading towards Ancourt's. We hope. <laughs> like I said, it's over 10 years since I've been here. Easily over 10 years ago. We seem to have found James now. The hiker in the city. Stuart Little. Stuart Little. Look at him. Hi, Stuart. So I think I think we're gonna try and split up a bit because we did look like uh, like the paparazzi then. People were like, what the f three guys with fing cameras going absolutely ballistic. But you can't, you can't blame us because the light is tremendous. So, if you recognise where we are, good. I've not a clue. Right, so there. Well, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Especially around this back end of uh, Northern... <laughs> <laughs> around the back end of Northern Quarter. But that smile tells it all. The buildings as well where we've just been here, I'll show you. Look at this alleyway. Look at that, with the, the tall chimney there and the light and the shadows. Very harsh, but in this situation, I feel that fits really well. I think I might compose a shot here. And we haven't really done it. It's been very much chance at the moment, just grabbing um, just split seconds of, of people moving through the frame, etc. So <laughs> it really is good fun. And it's different to when I was in uh, Lisbon because I've got these reprobates with me. So some good chuckles are being had. Great cop. We're going to head down there into where all these modern silver bits. Oh, what? Well, hey, here's the fuzz. Hey, up, hey, up. I'm busted. Finally made a sit down moment. We're just having a reconnoiter and a wee beverage as you've just seen. Um, not much to say really apart from glorious light, amazing people of Manchester and a fish finger butty with sour cream. What more can you want in life? Cheers. Well here we have the remains, almost the remains of what I can only say a beautiful fish finger butty with the surprise curry sauce. Look at that. Didn't expect curry sauce. I did ask for salad cream and they <laughs> thought I'd come from Mars. But there you go, that's that's what you get when you're from Yick. If you're out and about in Manchester, get yourself to the Bay Horse Tavern and get yourself a fish finger butty. Eh, King Charles never lived, lad has. So there. <laughs>
I got washed up in that, completely moved by the crowd, shooting along. Oh, I'm a bit lost for words there, just such a massive protest of people. Still going on. Uh, I've lost everyone now because that was, uh, that was a bit, that was a bit mad. That was really mad. And I just had to carry on with the camera. Right. Whoa, Manchester. Like three year old men here. Honestly. Clapped out, knacked out, and yeah. It's it, you know what? Bowfell was tough. And I actually feel as tired now my legs is when we come no no i'm exaggerating there no no that that did nearly finish me off but yeah it's been it's been good so well i said so far i was on about staying till eight o'clock tonight i'll just tell you what time it is it's five past three do you think i can make it till darkness because i want the lights you see i want to walk around with all the street lights and uh, all the kerfuffle noise and let's see let's see yeah well, i thought i'd pop on while we're having a minute any road. I best shut up because James wants to record his piece. I think it might be his last, his will and testament. <laughs> so there. Right, well, I think I'm uh, going to end it here actually. It's getting a bit rowdy. <laughs> end night. Oh, this is good. I I've started recording here now. You know what's coming, don't you? Oh no. Yeah. Me talking shite. Just me talking shite. Manchester. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm ending it as well. What a place to end it. They're well oiled. Listen to that. What a day, eh? The light's just dropping off now. Becoming quite subdued. Possibly a little bit too soft as it's fallen behind the buildings. So I thought this would be a good place to end it. With a toot toot of the Manchester tram. And me just wandering. A bit lost now, a bit knackered. And hopefully you'll like the shots at the end. This is quite fantastic area so I may continue a bit with just the camera can you see there there's just those shapes and lines with the last of the lights filtering through off the buildings well I hope you've enjoyed this I'm gonna move away from these inebriated people and call it a day well if you've liked this hit subscribe and if you want to see more hit the notification bell and well there's only one thing left to say from Manchester and that's City!